I'll probably call this something different. We'll figure it out. Uh, okay, so again, uh, there's different ways to practice this. Um, one way, uh, without singing, you can just play the melody. If you just want to play the melody, it sounds nice just as a piece by itself anyway. This has a really nice melody. So if you're going to... Uh, <laughs> great right playing a little chord in your left hand playing the melody in your right hand awesome now when we're s studying our singing we're trying to get closer hone in on the pitches <laughs> so you're not singing up there your voice is down here like my voice well i tried to make it sunday but i got so damn depressed so it'll help you if you're playing the note that you're actually singing. So now, the things that I've given you, I don't expect you to be able to do them quickly, and that's not the point. When you're practicing, there's a difference between practicing and just playing the song. So the practice, we really slow it down uh, to uh, do some analysis, figure it out, um, and then really think about every little thing that we're doing when you are performing, or we'll just call it performance, when you're just playing, all that stuff is supposed to inform it. We're, what we're trying to do, like when I play a, a C major scale, I spent years and years and years and years working on sitting there and thinking about exact hand position, exactly how my thumb goes under, you know, the, every little minute detail of how I play this thing that I don't even think about. I can talk to you while I'm doing it now. Uh, but it's a testament to how many hours I've spent doing that, right? Uh, I didn't, you know, fall out of the womb doing it. <laughs> so, uh, and what I'm saying is when, I, you know, all the practice, all the scrutiny of what you're doing down here makes it so it, you want to be able to turn that off and just play. That's it. the whole goal of this stuff. Uh, so try not to... Uh, make the two the same. So when we go through this list, first one's play and hum the melody, just the right hand. So you're not going to go because mm -hmm, you're not ready yet. So you're going to really focus on each one of the notes because you can do this. It's just we got to work on it a little bit. So the practice is you're going to play the note and you, mm, you just practice finding that note in your voice. Because it's something that we don't normally do in our life. We just talk, right? And we don't realize that talking is notes, you know? It's all notes. It's all frequencies. But this is like um, uh, very specific. We're trying to get our voice to make very specific frequencies. So in order to train to do that, we practice doing it. So you play the note, and you go, mm, and when you feel like you got it, you go to the next one. So this song, it's, you know, there's like seven notes in this song. And what I'm trying to get you to do is your body will remember it eventually. And that so that when you go, well, uh, when you go to sing it, well, I tried to make it Sunday, it's going to just go to those places um, because you've spent so much time doing it. Um, I don't know if you, you've ever done martial arts or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so when you learn to punch, it's just like a very specific sequence of m motions right. and you practice that over and over and over again pretty soon you don't have to think about it right um so that's what we're doing you do it you can hum it but then um the next step you can say the words alone uh that that's pretty simple i mean you're used to saying words so but just to get all the syllables in and and make sure that's like extra extra polish um but uh, once you've done that um, a couple times, you don't have to keep doing that. The, the main thing is being able to sing the notes. And then once you can sing the notes, uh, add the syllables. And add the syllables slowly. So you're going to just say, well, and you just, well, because for some reason, I mean, it's part of the, <clears throat> the sequence. Finding the note with your, is, is your vocal cords working. And then you couple that with, 
the shape your mouth makes when you're saying the word, right? So it's two things happening right there. And so if we take that apart, we start with just a note, and then we add the, um, the syllable afterwards, it will help. And then also your brain will associate the syllable with the note so that later you won't have to think about it. So we'll go through. Well, I tried to make it. Notice I'm playing the note first, listening to it, and trying to hit it, right? Trying to hit it, you know, uh, as accurately as possible. In the human voice, you're not gonna, it's not gonna sound like a piano. A piano just plays the note and it's steady. Your voice, you're not a computer. No matter, you know, nowadays, all voices on the radio are synthesizers anyway with, uh, with all the software that people use. Uh, so it's not very human anymore. <laughs> Especially like national country. Turn on, the, turn on the country radio station. It's all synthesizers now, man. All the people singing. Even when they can sing, that's the most amazing part, is like, even when they're great singers, they still, because it's fashionable right now to do that. Anyway, I'm stupid. Uh, that's, that's, there you go. That's plenty. Yeah. That's all I need. I, that'll keep my little mic.